am that I am. That awareness that you're talking about, uh, getting to be that all day long in that awareness of that. And um, what, what is the Holy Spirit? This is kind of a redundant question, I, I know, but mm-hmm. I can't. And my little mind wants to put it into something. Oh, it's a good question. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, very good. It's a good question. The Holy Spirit is the bridge to knowing I am that I am consistently. So you could say the Holy Spirit is the stepping stone or the bridge. It is that which can be linked with, um, linked up with, and called upon, and prayed to um, while there's still this development of trust and uh, shift of identity, transformation taking place in the mind from the separate self or the self-concept to that full um, awareness of being in that I am that I am consistently. So the Holy Spirit is like a light in the mind um, and it's described as the voice for God, really it's the light, it's the reminder of that presence and yet um, it is able to take the form of words, it's able to take the form of um, whatever is truly helpful to meet the mind where it believes it is and to be able to be joined with and I think The most um, important function that the Holy Spirit has is that it is a helper. The Holy Spirit is the helper. He is, you would say, a direct communication um, of a reference point that is beyond this world. Because in some um, spiritualities, there, where there isn't the sense of the helper or the guide, then there is just the sense of the ego and awareness or the I am presence with nothing in between. But with A Course in Miracles, um, in this sense, it's quite unique in that Jesus is always pointing to the Holy Spirit as being the guide. He's always saying, ask the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you what you need. The Holy Spirit will give you the words you know, and the thoughts and remove the obstacles. So the Holy Spirit in that sense is, a ver- is just a light in the mind, but in, it's, you could imagine it to be a really helpful friend who knows, you know, is the one who knows. And so everything that's confusing can be offered over to the Holy Spirit and then His help can be relied upon you know, in a practical way to show the way as opposed to just saying I want to be in awareness and you're either in it or you're not you know but there's nothing really in between whereas the Holy Spirit is like this in-between bridge that is very very supportive while this tra- transformation is taking place In the non-duality, and I know the Course is giving us this leg up kind of thing that is not the I am. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I just, I don't understand. It's fictitious, right? It's actually just... that greater self, that higher self that is... This entire world is fictitious, <laughs> you could say. And so what is real? You know, what is real? What is of value? What, what is actually going to help the mind um, shift from it all being fictitious to knowing 
knowing reality. And so you could say that it's all concepts in that sense. And yet, what is meaningful and what is of value is what will um, support the awakening in a very clear way. And in that sense, the Holy Spirit is not fictitious. The Holy Spirit is a solid, valuable, meaningful source of help to a mind that is completely disillusioned and delusional to be identifying as a separate self in this world. And so in that sense, valuing the Holy Spirit as a source of help and as one to turn to, rather than relying on one's own self, is very, very important. Because one's own self can just start to develop another self-concept, a spiritual self-concept, uh, you know, a more advanced self-concept, a better whatever self-concept. Whereas the Holy Spirit is, is more one that can be turned to in humbleness. Uh, when you're actually turning to a source of support, you're admitting to yourself, I need help. You know, and in the willingness to ask and be shown, rather than depending on one's own sense of um, even knowing ab about how to use spiritual practices, then that willingness, that humbleness, that open-mindedness opens your mind to receive you know, the support and the help and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. And then the identification eventually does merge with the Holy Spirit to knowing yourself as that wisdom, as that, as that truth, and as that presence. But the journey is very much about bringing the allusions to the truth, including the self-concept. And I would say every step along the way on the spiritual journey, it's so humbling. You know, it's so, so humbling um, to continually be aware of the asking for help. But I can tell you that even when you become consistently happy and consistently aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit in your mind, then there's still the sense of childlike openness to receive constantly. You know. So it's not as if even the direction of that willing to be humbleness ever changes. In the end, you're becoming like a child you know, back Know, in your father's arms or back into that I am presence in which there is nothing but but openness. Oh.